Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Fractal Bitcoin. Welcome. I'm Chris. This is your daily Bitcoin news video. We start with uh, the 10 second Bitcoin price update. The price right now is $42,630. And we've been hanging right around $42,000, $43,000. And we haven't moved much, but you could see the overall trend. We started the bull run. We're going to be on our way up with some ups and downs. But uh, as far as price goes, everything's fine. Let's move on to this court case that's happening today. Coinbase and the SEC set to fight off in federal court over regulators' crypto authority. So if you're not familiar, the SEC is su has been suing a bunch of different crypto companies, and the SEC doesn't even know why they're suing. They just they're suing, and when the when the when the court asks them, what are you suing for? They just say, well, these people are doing something they're not allowed to do. and But there's no laws around it. So the SEC is just overreaching incredibly. And by the way, they've lost, I think every big case so far, the SEC has lost. So that just goes to show you the overreach. And I think this happened today. Bitcoin Archive is reporting that the judge in the case of the SEC versus Bitcoin attacks the Securities Act of 1933 as outdated by quoting pro-Bitcoin Senator Cynthia Loomis's statement that it doesn't allow for new technologies like crypto. And here's apparently uh, what she said. We've had a good run. We've had 90 years where these securities laws have been able to apply to these markets, but now we have something new. So let's, uh, let's hope the court understands that this is something new and that they can you know, act in good faith, please. My goodness. All right, let's move on. Jamie Dimon has been a broken record. He's at Davos 2024, which is happening right now. And uh, he is, it's a flashback to last year. This is Walker's post here. Exact same empty talking points, no reevaluation or reflection, just the same old debunked anti-Bitcoin propaganda. He's either still ignorant or scared S-less. And he's not ignorant. He knows what he's doing. Uh, he, of course, he's the, I think he's the CEO of JP Morgan, right? And he, he, he when he, I'm not going to play this video because it's excruciating, but you, I'll link to this video. I link to everything, by the way, in the show notes. Everything that I'm talking about, there's links to everything. But he is just, I mean... The things he is saying are so dumb that if you know anything about Bitcoin, you can just hear what he's saying and it sounds really dumb. But unfortunately, guys like him, they're playing to the, to the audience that doesn't know anything about Bitcoin. So the average people might actually believe this guy's lies. Uh, but, and by the way, JP Morgan is involved in the, uh, somehow involved in the new ETFs that were, that were approved. So he has his hand in Bitcoin, but he's here he is bashing Bitcoin and it's just stupid. I think, I mean, this could just be blatant market manipulation. He could just be trying to badmouth it so that everybody sells so that they can buy more, right? I mean, that's probably what's happening, right? Yeah, here's uh, commenting on the same thing. Uh, Corn DeLorean says, this big and powerful banker is so helpless in the face of Bitcoin, it is hilarious. He is grasping for straws. Yeah, he really is. Here's another comment on it from Robin Sayre. Ladies and gentlemen, or ladies and gents, Jamie Dimon. He says, crypto has valuable use cases. But he also says, but Bitcoin is just for criminals. He isn't anything other than dumb. Yeah, which is true. And here's, here's Jamie Dimon and Senator Elizabeth Warren, so afraid of Bitcoin. They're afraid. You know why they're afraid? Because Bitcoin is going to swallow their entire grift over the next coming years. We don't know how long it'll take, but, you know, uh, that's why they're afraid. They see Bitcoin as something for the people that can't be stopped, can't be manipulated. I mean, very slightly it can be manipulated for very short periods of time. But in essence, it can't be manipulated. It can't be stopped. There's no middlemen. And these people, they don't like that. They, they don't, they can't run their grift. They can't continue their cartel activities if, bit, if everyone starts using Bitcoin. They can't do it. That's why they don't want it. So here, the EU, by the way, the EU is 
oh my God, they're done. Wow, they're just so done. They're so communist and authoritarian. It's crazy. Here's an article. The EU is about to outlaw and restrict some of the most prized features in crypto. Yeah, and if we go down here, the EU is taking aim at privacy coins and self-custody wallets under new anti-monitoring money, sorry, under new anti-money laundering regime. Oh yeah? Idiots. The changes, including a ban on crypto mixers, are expected this week. DeFi, DAOs, NFT platforms, among others, will need to increase their due, gil- due diligence on users. Yeah, so the EU, they're, they're, it's, anyway, this is happening in the EU. Let's hope it doesn't happen in the U.S. Uh, and of course, speaking of the U.S., this is the IRS. They just announced that businesses do not need to report the receipt of $10,000 or more in digital assets under the Infrastructure Investment and Jobs Act until procedural clarity is provided, giving the public the opportunity to comment on the regulations. So this is actually good. The IRS is not just running ahead and being completely ridiculous. They're at least taking it a little slow. They want to hear what people have to say. I mean, not that they're going to take really take that into consideration, but I mean, at least they're at least they understand to some degree that they can't just rush forward and do really uh, authoritarian things blatantly, right? Because the people are going to get upset. And this is the beauty of the whole Bitcoin movement. It's we the people, and now we have something, we have a solid foundation called Bitcoin that we can all stand on. And when the regime does something completely idiotic and authoritarian and communist, we can all stand up and say, no, they have to address that, right? They can't, they can't deny us. They can't deny Bitcoin. It's beautiful. This is exactly what we need to overthrow these idiots. Actually, they're not idiots. They're very smart, but they're corrupt as anything. Uh, in local Bitcoin news, there's a Houston Bitcoin meetup. It's next week, Thursday, January 25th. This is Parker Lewis. He'll be there, and he's bringing Marty Bent. He'll also be bringing copies of his book, Gradually Then Suddenly, which is a Bitcoin book. So check out your local area for local Bitcoin meetups. Here's here's the actual page for the meetup. Um, I'll, again, I'll link to all these below. And here is on Saifedean Amos's website. This is the safehouse.com. This is the Bitcoiners bookshop. And look, he has these six books here. Get all six hardcovers for only $119.99. Of course, you see the Bitcoin standard right above my head and the fiat standard. You have Broken Money, Lynn Alden, Fiat Food by Matthew Lysiak, and Gradually Then Suddenly by Parker Lewis. These are great resources. Um, Yeah, so keep learning about Bitcoin. That's what we all have to keep encouraging each other to do. Keep learning. Um, In fact, I'm going to a conference next week, and I, I, I have to, I want to finish the Bitcoin standard by the time I go, just so I'll be able to talk to people more intelligently um, about Bitcoin, right? So, well, that's it for today. This is our website, fractalbitcoin.com. Check it out. You can you know, see all our episodes here. You can also click this banner on top. It says, join our locals community. And when you click that, you come to our locals community. So join our locals. This is where we hang out and chat. And uh, I'm really enjoying doing these daily videos. So if you like it, please subscribe and follow and, and share the show too, because it really helps if you share it out and uh, we can educate more people about Bitcoin. We can get more people on board this freedom, money freedom movement, if you will. And that's how we come together. That's how we avoid the coming fiat catastrophes as well. So thanks for watching. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.